Here we are in Indiana, it's September 22nd. It's my first set of the 2018 year. So uh, it's pretty cool this year. Um, in Indiana, they expanded their deer reduction zones and this property I've been hunting for probably 25 years and this falls in the zone. So it's basically, it's an earn a buck. We're about one buck state in Indiana, but um, in these reduction zones, you can take a second buck, but you gotta shoot a doe first. So really doe hunting this morning is what my goal is first cold front of the year came through it's actually really chilly this morning uh, i was about 90 degrees earlier in the week and here we are it's i don't even think it's 50 right now so a little chilly uh, didn't dress warm enough but hopefully we'll warm up a little bit here and uh, sit tight and we'll see high pressure should be a good day Man, I just got shot a doe and I heard a big tank and I look and when I shot, I want to show you something. My bow hanger is right here. My bow hanger right here. And my cam hit that. I actually took a huge chunk out of my cam on my bow. I was right, I was held right behind her shoulder and uh, hitting that. Man, I didn't even think about that being up there. So I just freaking gut shot her. Dang it. Darn it. Well, well it's time to get out of here and see what we see what we got. Dang it, all of the things. Well, it took some digging, but I found the arrow buried in the grass here. And it's got awesome blood on it. Uh, lo really looks good. Um, I started blood trailing her out. I hit her high and back. Um, but I started blood trailing out. There's blood everywhere. So, I don't know. I got lucky and got some major artery or something. But the, the blood is very, very bright red. Uh, it's really good. So got looking at my bow hanger and you can see where my cam came around and smacked the bow hanger and uh, man brand new bow too and took a chunk right out of the cam right there so I might have to get that on the bow press this afternoon and uh, see if I can take a file to it and kind of file that down a little bit until I can get a new cam delivered so anyway hopefully she didn't go too far I'm gonna give her a little bit here even though I like the blood sign I did think I heard a crash earlier, so I don't really think she went as far as uh, the 
initial shot look to me, so who knows, we'll see, stick tight. Magnus Black Hornet Series, there's baby. All right, well, I went and found her. Um, I didn't give her all that long because the blood trail was really good. Lost it for maybe 10 yards or so and then picked it right back up again. It was actually glassing down into a drainage and saw the white belly. So that went in and there's just blood everywhere. So real quick, I'll show you some of the devastation from that black hornet. Um, she uh, didn't start bleeding for about 10 yards and then it got pretty good. She went 100 yards maybe total, kind of zigzagged through some stuff. So we'll catch up with her here real quick. So this is a really cool spot. <clears throat> I've been hunting this farm for like 25 years. And uh, there's a clump of trees right back here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I hung a stand up here about, oh, three, four weeks ago. Put in a little micro food plot here. About, oh, two thirds of it came up pretty decent. So anyway, this is just a fun little bowl to hunt. And it's always really good, um, you know, when it comes to deer activity and just pass through stuff. So. She kind of came around the corner of the field here and she kind of dove in the woods here and then dove back out down this lane. Then she kind of went in right here and there's drainage down in here and she's right down the bottom of the drainage. So I'll show you where she made her death run. That's for any jerkiness. Uh, nice size doe uh, for the early season here. You say it's September 22nd. This is a reduction uh, zone deer. And uh, so basically we're in an earn a buck situation. So I can come back out on this property and start hunting bucks until I think the end of January. So I'm kind of excited about that opportunity. It's new this year. Um, here way back, as you can see, and you can see on film um, right back here. It was a terrible shot, but my bow cam, you know, hit the uh, bow hanger, and so I might have to throw the bow in the press and see if I can't fix that, but that's basically it. It's pretty cool. It's fun to be on the board. This is my very first set of the season from 2018, and I got a lot of work to do, swatting mosquitoes, and uh, this is actually going to be a nasty drag out of this little drainage, so good luck. God bless, and be safe out there this year. Wear a harness when you're in the stand. Have a great season, y'all. It's a new day in the outdoors.